What's good, YouTube? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy Q Lord, aka <laughs> The Wave Man, man, man. Here with TheWaveMonopoly.com to bring you guys another tutorial. Today, we have something really special. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to record like a pro. I'm gonna be giving you guys a live demo as well. And FL Studios 20.9. Let's get into this prank thing thing. Yay! Welcome back to another Wave Monopoly tutorial, guys. Welcome. Thank you guys for coming back. I'm hoping I can bring some more <laughs> value to you. All right. So, Listen, we're going to be getting into, as the title says, how to record in 20.9 FL Studios, guys. Yes, it's that type of time. You are Image Line definitely has made some additions and improvements to their recording, um, you know, their recording side of the DAW. As we know, guys, FL Studios wasn't the best thing to be recording in, but we may do it with. We had, <laughs> didn't we? All right. So what we're going to be going into, guys, is, um, of course, how to record in FL Studios. And we're going to be going over the new changes as well. But we're just going to be making this workflow just go. All right. So I'm going to show you guys as if how I would be starting off um, if I was starting off with a blank, you know, a blank FL Studios just template right here. OK, guys, we're going to go into making our own template. We're going to be going into setting up for recording. We're going to be going up to setting our inputs. We're going to be going over the new features, how to make your workflow better and recording in the door. Let's do it. Let's get right to the screen, man. Look, you know what time it is. And a lot of y'all, I see, I see y'all in the comments talking about, I be saying, guys, 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 got. Look, since y'all want to be like that, we, we could, you know what? I'm not doing this no more. Let me, <laughs> got you. <laughs> I ain't mad, because I do say it a lot. Um, but let's get right to it, all right, guys? <laughs> all right, so the first thing, as you can see, guys, wow, I really say that a lot. Whoever can count how many times I say guys in this tutorial, man, you get uh, $200 uh, wave points, wave dollars, for real. I'm not playing. If you count how much I say, guys, $200, put it in the comments down below, you get $200, for real. Hit me in the DMs, for real. All right, let's get into it. So. We pulled up FL Studios. The first thing that we're going to want to do is start with an empty template. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is go to file and we're going to go to new from template. And we're going to click empty. All right. Now, if you do that, it's going to look just like this. I'm going to go to my, you know, this is my empty. This is what it's going to look like. You click empty. You're going to get this screen right here. Okay. The first thing I'm going to want to do for you guys is actually kind of give you guys that workflow that I have in Pro Tools because as you know, I, well, this is my personal opinion. Pro Tools is the most organized DAW to record in. So I want my mixer to resemble that, all right? So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is, I know a lot of you guys might have Compact 2 where you're seeing hundreds of tracks. Tell me the last time y'all used 100 tracks. All right, we're not EDM producers. <laughs> Rap stars, are you right? Look, or rock stars, you feel me? A lot of, okay. Um, but yeah, so um, what we're going to want to do, guys, is I just want to show you guys something that just feels a lot more comfortable to me and it just looks a lot cleaner and makes a lot of sense to me. So we're going to want to actually go ahead and change our mixer window. OK, so we're going to go up to this to this top left corner of the mixing window. We're going to want to choose extra large. OK, now this looks a lot more cleaner to me and I like this view a lot more. So that's what we're going to stick with. OK. So the first thing we're going to want to do after we, you know, got that clear screen, we got our mixer window looking real pretty, right? Real pretty. So now after we did all that, guys, the first thing we're going to want to do is assign our audio tracks. OK, so make sure that your song, your, your actual setting, your option is in song, not pattern. OK, so once we're in song, we're able to start doing this. So what we're going to do is assign our track one. OK, we're going to want our beat here. OK, we're going to want our beat to be sitting here. So we're going to right click track one and go to track mode, audio track, we're going to assign it to insert one. Now what that's going to do is go ahead and put that right here. Okay. To make that more apparent, what we're going to do is actually start arranging our session. So we're going to start color coding things to make things more organized. Okay. So we're going to right click, change color. We're going to give our B track somewhat of a blue. So we'll give it steel blue, except all right. We're going to go ahead and change this name as well. Okay. So we're going to place our beat here. So we're going to put our beat. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and drag our beat in so we can get our beat in there. Our beat examples right here. OK, so now that we now this is starting to look more like a cleaner, a cleaner page, a cleaner, a cleaner template so that we're able to get ready to start working. All right. Now, after we have our beat there, what's next? We're going to want to assign our audio track for recording. So same process. We're going to go to our track two. And we're going to want to go to track mode audio track. All right. Insert two. Now there's another way we could do this as well. We can go to our insert here. Same thing. 
all right? Assign to new audio track. Boom, and it automatically puts you at insert two. So we're gonna wanna record here. So we're gonna change our color. We're gonna make it somewhat of a red, all right? Earth red, and we're gonna go ahead and rename that as well to record here, all right? So now we have two tracks assigned. We have our beat and we have our record here, all right? So now that we actually assigned our audio tracks, guys, the next thing that we're gonna do is put our inputs and actually set these options so that we're recording, so that our microphone is getting into the system correctly so that we're able to record correctly, okay? So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is add an input. Now, what's an input? Our input is basically anything that we have coming out, uh, you know, in this real world, what we're recording on, whether it's a guitar or this microphone. And in this case, it's this microphone. We have it going into our input one of the audio interface, which is the discrete four. So this microphone is plugged in to the discrete four and input one. So that's what we're gonna want represented into the DAW. So we're gonna go to this icon right here and add our input. No, we don't want the input one, input two. That's stereo, we're recording in mono. So find your interface and make sure it's mono, input one. All right? All right. As you can see, la 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 la. Y'all didn't know. But yeah, so if you can see this meter moving right here, guys, we are on the right track, okay? So that's number one. Number two, we're gonna wanna set this recording option, okay? So what we're gonna wanna do right now is actually go to the second option and make sure that it's record on external input only. External input only, all right? Now by doing that, external input only, I know you guys remember, whenever you were recording FL Studios and you're recording with effects on the mixer, it'll print onto the track. So that means basically that when you record in your auto-tune, if you record it in the wrong auto-tune or just did a hiccup in there, you couldn't go back and, and change it. It's literally on the audio track. So by doing this, this is gonna allow what you record to be independent and stay independent from what you put on your mixer track, okay guys? So that's that right there. And this you wanna make sure is red when you're getting ready to record, okay guys? So another thing I wanna show you guys before you record, okay guys? Perfect. Now that we have that down, we're gonna wanna do a couple more things before we record, okay? The first thing I wanna do is one, find the BPM of our beat. Because when we're recording, we want everything to be in sync. Our reverb, pre-delays, we want our delay to be in sync. We don't want it just randomly delaying everywhere. We want it to be going with the beat, going with the song, so everything sounds cohesive. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and do that right now and find the BPM. So nonetheless, you already know we got you here at WaveMonopoly.com. We have a free BPM detector, guys. Make sure you go ahead and bookmark this, man. Do whatever you wanna do, guys. Our BPM detector is gonna find that out for you. So go ahead and just browse, find your beat, Upload, bada boom, bada bang, jank, 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 128 is your BPM. So let's go ahead and put that up here. Or we'll slide it down, 128. So now everything's gonna be in sync, okay? The next thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you gain stage, gain stage, gain stage, all right guys? So we're gonna want our beat kinda turned down and, and leveled so that we have headroom to actually mix with later on, okay? A lot of times, guys, if you're finding that when you start recording, you're starting to get this distortion in your tracks and you know you, when you're mastering, you, the levels are already up there and you can't master anything, it's because you're not gain staging. So make sure you gain stage. So what we're gonna do in FL Studios, we're gonna actually gain stage from the playlist. So make sure you click this playlist and we have our beat here. We're gonna go ahead and turn this down to about negative 12 dB. That'll give us some room. That'll definitely give us some room, all right? So if you don't know where this number is, the number is up here in this left top hand corner, you know, negative 12 dB. All right, we gain stage. So now we have something to work with. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is actually get into recording. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So me personally, when I like to record, I like to record with confidence. I like to record with what I hear actually out of my head. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is use a preset from WaveMonopoly.com. And in this case, I think we're gonna go ahead and use the, the, Kid, the Kid Roy's preset. Um, and that's what we're gonna go with for now. All right, guys? So. Uh, this is the stock version for FL Studios, but, but we have this. this, 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 this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sounds, sounds amazing. amazing. Let me turn off this delay though. All right. So in this version, guys, we're using the FL Studio stock version. But like I said, we have this for Pro Tools. We have uh, plenty of templates for all DAWs, Ableton, GarageBand, Logic, Studio One. Yeah. WaveMonopoly.com if you want any, um, feel free to get your vibe. You know, there's plenty of templates up there for both waves and stock versions, but let's get into this. Brang, thing, thing. So 
We're using the Kid Roy vocal preset. And that's what we're about to do right now. Let's just get right to this bang, dang, dang. So we're gonna make sure our track is aimed, all right? It's red here. And we're gonna be using, like I said, like I said, guys, make sure it's not post EQ, external input only, all right? And what we're gonna go ahead and do is just click R and that's gonna actually get us to start going on this track. But before we do that, a few more options right here, right click this record button and we're gonna wanna click the record start playback and disarm at the stop. Because I know many of you guys remember in FL Studios, whenever you stop, a lot of times that, that button is still recording and if you click it back for playback, it's gonna record what you literally just recorded and it's gonna start, you know, conjumbling and confusing and just clashing. Everything's gonna be recorded and it's just gonna, it's, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> y'all know what I, I'm making up words. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But what that's gonna do is that's gonna stop the recording after playback. I'll show you an example. All right, I pressed R to record. And now what I'm gonna do is press the space bar to stop and listen to playback. As you can see, the record button stopped. Now I'm playing it back and nothing is recording. So that's an amazing thing. All right, so let's get into it and let's just get into this blank dang thing. Yay! Let's get it, man. Whoa. She bodies can't be she's sour but she's sweet and tastes like candy She sour but she's sweet She like candy She bodies can be it's not Cindy she moving fast, fierce like she Vindy. So, yeah, she is savage. Gave you much spine. And she ain't not rich. Can't take no. Yes. She wreak heavy. Walk hard up like Callis. She might chill. Messed up right there. But I know what I want to get rid of. So, what I'm going to do right now is go and we're going to go to snap and make sure it's on none. So, that could be really precise where I'm deleting at so that I'm able to come back in and punch in you feel me so let's listen to where i got it messed up at oh, let me turn this off so they won't got that extraness in the background can't take no she wreak heavy walk hard up like callus all right so after that i'm just gonna punch in so what we're gonna do now guys is show you another feature which is the clone feature which can clone the actual effects that you have right here so that we're able to continue to make you know great music and this great workflow without stopping and having to do too much so just right click the track that you want to clone and go down to clone and right now we're going to want to just clone the effects in this instance boom ready to go make sure your input is set and we back at it man look r let's get into it No, I don't like it. So if I don't like it, I'm going to press stop, okay, which is your space bar. We're going to command Z and back click R. That's how fast it got to be. All right, we're punching punch in. Punch up like she might you don't, you don't like, like it? it. Command, command Z, Z, R. Up like Kallis, she might bad and she knows. And she ain't going to know. All right, right, boom. Don't, don't like, like it. it. R. Hard up like Kallis. She might bad and she knows. And she back on the road. And she swear that she the go. But she bodies can't be. So she sweet and tastes like candy. So she sweet. She like candy. Ooh. Y'all heard that little crack at the end. Oh, no, no, no. Get me right, man. We back up here with it. Turn this one off. Let's get the input right. We back up here with it, man. Let's get it. So much she sweet. She like can deal. Boom. All right. Very simple. That's how we do it, guys. We record just like that, all right? Let's listen to it back and see what we have done here today. Let's listen to it back, all right, guys? Let's get into it. We're going to start from the front. <laughs> We're going to start from the front. We're going to take it to the back. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and put these delays back on because I want to hear them with the actual delays. 
and let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and listen to actually what we did in this uh, FL Studios, what we recorded, see how it sounds, guys, and that's the workflow, all right? Let's get into it. Let's listen to what we did. She bodies can be, she so much, she's sweet, tastes like candy. She so much, she's sweet, she like candy. She bodies can I said she moving fast and fierce like she Vindy So, yeah, she is savage, then you mark the spot And she ain't not rich, you can't take no And she rehab it, walk hard up like Callis She might bad and she knows And she back on the road And she swear she the go but she bodies can be so she sweet and tastes like candy. So she sweet, she like candy. And, and it's really as simple as that, man. Look, shout out to FL Studios for doing the necessary additions to their door. Um, look, it's, it's one clap for you guys. Okay, you still got some way to go, but I'm rocking with it so far. The additions, I get it. <laughs> it's all business, right? You gotta, you gotta keep us waiting for the rest, right? It. Let me stop playing with y'all. <laughs> Shout out to y'all, though, man. Let's get into it. Y'all know that's how we do it, man. Look, thank you guys for watching another Wave Monopoly tutorial. And next time, we're gonna be showing you guys how to make a song from scratch, all the way to the mixing and mastering phase. Let's get into this blank, dang, dang, man. Look, there ain't no time for this, man. Look. She moving fast and fish like she Vindy. So, yeah, she is savage. Baby, my respect. And she ain't a bitch. Can't take no. 